For us to understand better the concept of modulo arithmetic, let's use the idea of uh, donations. So let's say donation, right? So this is a, a so donations. So assuming uh, a, what it means is that uh, you only donate the module. So this is a mode seven. So assuming you want to donate to people, so the amount that we donate is uh, the mode here, which in this case is so seven. You only give out what seven dollars, seven naira, so whatever, whichever currency you are dealing with, right? So here, assume you only give out what seven dollars. You don't give anything more than you don't give anything less than this, right? So that is the idea, just for understanding papers, right? Okay, so now let's look at these questions and see how we can best explain this method. So from the question, you are giving. An operation. So what I mean by the operation is that uh, this star we call it what a star here. So this star means that we are going to combine the first guy and the second guy, right? So from the question on this set, so the members that we are picking are coming from this house. So they are what one, three, five, and one and six. So these are the people that we are going to pick. So we want to combine two of them, right? So how we combine? We are combining the two of them with uh, this law here. The law says that you pick the first person plus the second person here, and everything plus two. Is that okay, so remember that you are delaying everything with in module seven. So I will demonstrate that in just a few seconds, right? So this is just an understanding. So these are the people that we are dealing with, and this is how they are combined. Just two people. This is how two people are combined. The first person plus the second person, and then plus two. Okay. Now this is how you have to draw your table, right? So the first people go this way, right? So these are the first people here, and then the same people are here, right? So that is what one, three, and then five, and what and six. So one, three, five, and six. So this will be your your, your, your table here and then this is the operation between them so what it means that this is the first person operation the second person it will give me what in the mode 7 right so in mode 7 so this is how you do your calculation so you pick the first person here operation what the second person which is what one one operation what one right so I'm dealing with these people first so one operation one so we are combining the one one so one operation one how how is the law all what the law says that we should combine the law says you should pick, pick the first person here plus the second person then plus two right so arrangement matters here so the first person plus the second person plus two so one plus one plus two that will give him a four uh, remember that we are dealing everything in mode seven so what i said earlier on is that in mode seven you only give out seven right you only give out seven seven dollars that is the only thing that you give you don't give you anything more than or less than is that okay and then so here you are having four if this is four then it's not up to what the seven if it is not up to seven then they should take everything is that okay just for understanding for they should take everything because this is not up to seven so they should take it so this is our answer here right so the answer here is, is four okay so for the second part you can see that we are having one operation three so from the table right? so here you are having one operation what three here right so one operation three what that give us so they say we should combine them by what Picking the first person, which is one plus or two, the second, sorry, three, right? Three is the second person here, so plus three and then plus two. So one plus or plus three, that gives me four and then plus two, that should be, that, that should be six, right? Okay, the same way, so we can see that this six is still not up to seven, right? If it is not up to seven, still they should take everything, right? So this is how simple you fill in what, the spaces. So here gives me what six. Now let's say in the case where it is up to seven or more than seven. Now the next one, let's get to the point where we are having what? Uh, uh, I guess you should pause the video and fill in everything and get to this point, right? So five star what star five and see what we are going to get. Okay, thank for doing that. Then here we are going to have about five operation of five. Let's say we are here, right? So let's say we are here. So five operation five, right? We want to see what we are going to get. Now let's let's do the operation. Let's see how we can combine them. So we are going to combine them by what the first person here and then first person oh uh, there's a mistake here right can you see that here is what uh one here is supposed to be five is that okay so because i was dealing with one 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 here that was the memory so here is supposed to be what and then five here and then five plus five that should be what that should be what ten here ten plus so that should be twelve right so let's do that correction correction quickly over here right so that should be what that should be twelve here so here, here should be twelve so twelve for mode seven right Okay, thanks for, 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 for your patience. So here you are going to have five operation of five here. That should give you what, uh, five plus five, right? So five plus five here, that is equal to what, five plus five plus two. That is the operation, right? You say the first person plus what, the second person 
plus 2. So this plus this will give me 10. Then 10 plus 2, that should be what? That should be 12. So this is the 12. Yes, this is more than 7, right? This is more than 7. So you only donate 7. So if you donate 7 out of the 12 here, what you are going to leave is what they are taking away. Right? So that is the answer in what? In Modulo. So after donating 7 out of the 12 here, we are left with what? 5. Okay, we are left with five. So five here is now up to seven. So that is exactly the answer, right? So here is supposed to be what? five instead of one. So here is supposed to be what? to be five, right? So here is supposed to be five. Okay, if here is five, that is how simple you can fill in all this. So, so let's look at the final one. So here we have having six operation six, right? Six operation six. So the operation says that we should pick the first person here plus or the second person, which is six. So six plus six and then plus two. That is what the definition. That's what they tell us that uh, we have to combine these two guys uh, with this method here. So the first person plus the second person and plus two, plus two. So this plus this that should be twelve, and the twelve plus two that should be a fourteen, right? So that should be fourteen. Remember that I said earlier on that in mode seven, you only donate the model. So the donation is that you are donating seven, right? So if you donate your first seven out of the fourteen, you can see that you are still left with seven, right? You are still with less seven years. So with this seven, you can still donate the seven. So if you donate the seven, then you are left with nothing. Can you see that? So this is a very simple method. So the answer was 14. So 14, you denote the 7 for the first time. And then you can see that you realize that you are left with another 7. So with this 7, you can still donate it out. So after giving it out, so then you are left with 0. Right? So this is what the answer is, is 0. So 6 plus 6 in this case, mode 7 is, what is equal to 0. So this is how simple you fill in with your table very well. Nicely, right? So this is how simple you can solve all this method. So let's look at the questions that follow. So if you are enjoying the video so far, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can get more content like this. Make sure that you like and watch share. If you have any question, make sure that you comment down below. Okay. Now, uh, the next question says that you should use your table. Is that okay? Use your table. It's very, very important. So we are going to use what we have here. We are not using anything from anywhere. So we are going to use this, this table just to read the answers that we have over there. So the answer, the question says that you should find what? The truth set. The truth set of what? And... 3 star n is equal to what? 3, right? So 3 star n is equal to 3. That was what the question said. You should find the true set. So you can see here that I said from the table. They say use the table, right? So from the table, you just need to read. So you stand on a line of 3. And the 3 star what should give me what? 3 here, right? 3 star what? So the first person star, the second person must be equal to 3. So let's go to where the 3 is. So here you are having 3, right? So this is our first 3. Remember, arrangement matters here. So this is the first guy, which is 3. 3 star what? One of these four people must give me 3, right? You can see that the answer is, is, is here, right? So 3 star 5 should be equal to, equal to 3. Can you see that? 3 star 5 is equal to, is equal to 3. Therefore, we can conclude that our N here is, is 5, right? So our N is 5. Remember, they say truth set. So this is how you write for the truth set. So the uh, set notation n so that n is equal to equal to five. So this is how simple you write on the truth set. Okay. Now the second part. I guess you should pause the video and try this one. So the second part is that still under the truth set. You still use your table to find n star n is equal to three, right? N star n is equal to three. Now pay close attention. N star n. You can see that we are having the same n here. Another n here. Right, n here, n here, meaning that the number that you pick should be the same. So you're having the same number, right? The same number says so if you combine the two, it should give you a three. So you can just go to your table and go and check them out one by one. So you can see that uh one operation one it doesn't give us three, right? So if you go to the three, three operation three, it doesn't also give us a three here, and then five operation what another five here, it doesn't give us three, and then finally you have six. Operation what? Operation six still doesn't give us six. So we don't have a portion on what? Our table such that n star n give us three. Can you see that? N star, so from the table, our n is equal to empty. We don't have anything like that. Is that okay? We don't have anything like that. So you can see that the truth says that n so that n is equal to empty. So this is just the, the notations of empty.
Question says we should perform the multiplication in what? In mode 7, right? So multiplication in mode 7. Unlike the first one, we are giving what? The operation, how two people can be combined. And then here, we are having what? This is straightforward. The usual thing, the usual multiplication that we used to know. On these people, right? So on these people here, so we are having what? 2, 3, 5, and, and what, 6. So in case, this is just pay close attention. In case we are not giving the members of the set, so in mode 7, it start from what, 0 up to what, up to 6. Is that okay? So 0 up to 6. So maybe in mode 8, we'll start from 0 up to what? Up to 7, right? And so on and so forth, right? But here you are giving the set. So these are the people that we are going to use to perform our operation. So as usual, you have your table down. So there's an operation here, which is what, the multiplication, right? So that is 2, 3, 5, and 6. Here you are going to have... Uh, two, three, five, and six as well. So this is our portion whereby we are going to fill in the gap with uh, the red pen here. Now let's see how to perform the multiplication. So the thing that we already know. So the only thing that dif difference here is that uh, we donate only what seven, right? We delete only what seven dollars here. So we perform your operation. So two multiplied by two as usual. That gives us what four, right? So four is not up to seven. So we put the four there as it is. So here. 2 multiply by 2 that gives us what, 4 and then uh, you can see that 2 multiply by 3 will give us 6 6 is still not up to 7 so you, will, you leave it as it, it is so here you are going to have uh, 6 there and then finally here you can consider here so 2 multiply by 5 that gives us what 10 right this 10 is more than 7 remember that you donate to only 7 so after giving the 7 up you'll be left with what, 3 right so 3 is the answer there is that okay and then you can see that the next one that's, that should be what, 2 multiplied by 3 that will give us what, 12 here right so here is 12 and then 12 in mode 7 after donating the 7 until we be left with what, 5 is that okay so that is the answer this, so this is how simple you fill in all the spaces so from the table right so this is how simple if you are having any difficulties make sure that you comment down below i guess you should pause the video and try and fill in the space if you just like less than five minutes you should be done with this and come back and come and check the subsequent questions that follows okay congratulations for doing that and then the next question says that we should use use the table right so using the table and then we are going to have m multiplied by m should give us two M multiplied by M. Once you are having the same letters here, that is the M multiplied by M. So these two guys have to be the same, right? So you just need to go back to your table and go and check that. Right? You don't need to do any calculation. You just check it from the table. So M multiplied by M give us what? Give us two. So the two you are just going to, go to check that. So let's check that. So which number is that? You can see that two multiplied by two here it doesn't give us what? Uh, two and then what about three? So three multiplied by three will give us what? give us two, right? So straightforward, our answer is what? is two. Is that is three, right? In this case, so the answer is three because three three what? Three multiplied by three, right? That gives us two. Is that okay? So we are looking for the same guy. Here. That is what? Uh, three multiplied by three, which is equal to two. Therefore, our m is equal to three, right? So because when I replace this guy by 3, 3 multiplied by 3, uh, from the table, you consider this is equal to 2, right? Now, here's the, here's the next one. The next one says that n multiplied by into bracket, n multiplied by 6, should give us what, 6, right? Once again, there's n here, there's n here. So those two numbers also be the same. Is that okay? So as usual, always the bracket first. So you need, you need to check the bracket first. So how do you do that? How do you do that? So you just need to pick them one by one, right? So you pick them one by one. So if you pick your number, your first number, you should do with the brackets. So let's start with the two. So the two multiply by what? By six here. So let's go and check what you are going to get. So that is our first number here. Yes, yeah, so yes, two. So two multiply by six give us a five, right? So it give us five. And then remember that we are having what the same n n here, right? So the same n n here. So that should be what? two multiply by six for the first bracket. Remember that the n and n here are the same number, so here also has to be a 2. So, and then multiply by 2 here. I see this guy, this guy gives us what? Give us 5, right? So, 5 multiply by 2. So, let's check that. So, 2 multiply by 5 from the table, what are we getting? Let's check whether whether we are getting what? 3 here, right? So, the, from the question, they say the answer is equal to 3. So, let's check 2 multiply by 5. Let's check whether that gives us what? That gives us 3. So, 2 multiply by 5 here. Three. Yeah, boom, we are there, right? So boom, we are there. So our n here is equal to 
is equal to 2. Can you see? Our n here is equal to 2. There's another one from the table. So I guess you should do that and comment that below, right? Comment down your answer below. So we are having n to be equal to 2 for the first part. There's another one, right? There's another one. So check and provide your answer as well in the comment section below. So if you've enjoyed this video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thank you.